we're recording. All right. So, um, one of the problems with a Class B, of course, is storage. You get a lot of stuff you're trying to put into a small space, smaller than a B plus or a C or well anything else really except a, just a regular, um, you know, short. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Um, you need to make as much use of space as possible. So one of the issues that we had is that the hanging closet next to the fridge just isn't tall enough for Crystal's dresses. So what we've done is come up with a new idea of how to put a couple of hanging bags, Walmart, these came from Walmart, um, attached to the bed, the underside of the bed, and attached well enough that when you fold the bed down, it's still held up to the bottom of the bed. It's not going to get in the way of other things underneath as long as, as the hanger doesn't hit. So let me show you the basics of, uh, this isn't quite complete, but let me show you the basics of what we've got here. Um, I'm actually going to take this apart once real quick because i got to pull the tape off too. So this is one of those, and that was the dress with a tape. So this is, you still on me? Mm-hmm. You just moved things down low. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so get a shot of, of that. Can you see it? Yeah. So the, this um, is one of those, you get a um, doorknob you've taken off of the door, or, or a deadbolt you've taken off the door, and you put one of these two pieces of metal with a screw in it to cover up the ugly hole. Um, it's kind of a security thing. Uh, this was uh, Home Depot. And of course, I'll, of course, I will include links to all of the items I used in this um, on the blog. Um, but basically, cut a piece of PVC pipe. Uh, we were actually using this previously as a hanging rod. And then screw this onto there uh, and make it tight. And then this piece just has three self-tapping screws holding the entire apparatus to the wall. I mean, to the bottom of the bed. So what's the blue tape for? Oh, good question, Crystal. What I was doing was taking the um, tool here, uh, taking the old stud finder and uh, trying to locate where we have stuff to we can screw into. So there's some stuff there and there's some stuff here that we can attach into. So those are the points where I'm actually putting the peak of the bags is nearby where I'm, I'm seeing wood in the bed so that I'm not just into the thin material. So now I can take some of this tape off so I don't need it anymore. I've already figured that part out. I guess I want this assembly and solved. this away. tape isn't peeling off the... No, this is blue tape. It's uh, painter's tape. It's um, low sticky mm -hmm. and um, specifically so that you don't pull your um, finish off. Um, it's kind of like command hooks except it doesn't, it only, it's just a mask thing. It's masking tape that can come off easy. I use it for a lot of stuff. Uh, and in this case I was using it so that I was marking on the tape where my um, spots were to install instead of marking on the um, uh, the actual uh, bottom of the bed. So uh, we're going to put the second one in. Um, this is a fairly simple process. Um, a chunk of pipe. I guess I should tell you what the d distance of it is. Well, uh, isn't it the same as the distance of the... It's approximately the same, yeah. Uh, in this case, I've got... looks to be about one and a half inches. Mm -hmm. And... Of course, the fun part, I guess since I've got tape on, oopsie, uh, there we go. Since I've got the tape off, I can go ahead and uh, assemble this again. And then we'll put the second one in. I'm also going to, to keep the, um, the sides of the bag attached, I'm going to fashion some uh, little chunks of wood and put a couple of screws 
in at the top right corner and then down low here so that when the bed folds down it stays um, attached. It's not going to just flop down in, uh, in the way of, it, of things. So let me get this tightened back up. And uh, that one's done. And I can change out the pipe if we decide that it needs, because actually, you know, I think I probably should have made it two inches. Let me cut a, a, a longer piece for the next section. And we can always change the pipe out to be a different dimension if need be. All right. Um, so I'm going to go do pipe and the three holes in the, um, the door hole cover. Uh, let me get that and I'll show it to you. There's another one right here in the back. Here it is, right here. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Off the pad. So, Defender Secure, hole filler plate, as it's called, U9515. Again, I'll give you links to all of this um, in the blog. And uh, how did we come up with this idea? Um, we were walking through Home Depot looking at various options. Okay. And I said, would this work? Yeah. No, I mean, the, like, the whole thing. Oh, that was a joint affair. Okay, because we kept going back and forth on how we're going to hang your, your dresses. Yep. Because that's a big concern, is that... Yes. Since I wear dresses most of the time. And even though you did pick up a steamer, it would be nicer to have them already ready to dress, wear, hanging, instead of all wrinkly. Like, this one got all wrinkly because it was in the cabinet. Yep. Wrinkles. All right. May I turn this off? Yeah. yeah. Right. That's the right size. All right. So, the step is handy. two bolt pieces and the two plates. The plate that I'm putting up against the wall is the one that has the square hole because the one I want on the back side matches that square hole. And then, um, I wonder what the fireworks are for. Huh. So, um, that way, that holds this rod, this threaded uh, bolt, whatever you want to call it, um, still while you use your drill to spin the front side of it shut. Oh, there was actually a reason why I didn't go this long. And the reason I didn't go that long is that that won't work. Okay. <laughs> so, if we need an alternate um, light bolt, the thing to fit in that somehow, we can we can do that. It's just a matter of it'll work. How we'll figure out a way. Okay. So the holes I'm going to drill are in the one with the square hole, and I'm just going to do two on the sides and one below. So, we got this ready to go, we got a piece of PVC pipe, <laughs> and then I've got three screws, and these are just self-tapping screws. Um, they're not too long, but they won't go through the, the bed and cause problems. You need the bag. 
Yeah, I'll make you a bag. I'm trying to hide our mess. <laughs> we always put the mess behind the camera, right? <laughs> okay. And then, uh, so this part's ready to go. And find the open zipper. This one's going to go right about here. Down. Yeah, I know down. So, I found a point where it was definitely not going to hit the um, bar that holds up the bed on the other side. And so, inch and a half is the right number. Right there. Yep. And you gotta come down an inch and a half. And then put our metal piece, I'll have to measure that again. Metal piece in place, get it rotated correctly. And then come on the pants. Okay, and then, where's the drill? I think you left it outside. Oh. <laughs> well, let me get, some, yep. All right. And now without moving it, or dropping the screw. Try to hit that bottom hole. And then, two on the sides. Yep, lost one to the bag. You'll need to check the other bag for screws too. I think I dropped one or two in there too. Get in the hole. There it is. Yay. All right. <laughs> this is always fun. And then like that. All right. And then the piece of PVC and the cap. And this keeps the hangers from flopping around. There it is. And then voila. Second unit. I'm gonna cut some pieces of lawn and screw them into the sides to hold it in place, top and bottom. And then I think this project is done. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I'm not recording that. Huh? I didn't record that. Now I'm recording. Okay. So. I'm just doing some relatively. Guides, four strips of wood. Crystal pointed out that they could just be one strip. Um, I'm going to take care of it. That's quite right. We've got the generator going so I can run my power saw. A man and his tools. Oh, yeah. Well, and you got to have your laser. So you can see where to cut. Alright, this is not gonna work. I need to put it on something. Here we go.
And now a very important step. Start over. Oh, and now a very important step. Smooth off the edges with sandpaper. You don't want to rip any of Crystal's precious dresses. The recording. Okay. Let me get uh, this a little bit tighter so it's on the right of the subject. All right. So strips. We're going to go in at the edge of the bag and near the edge of the bottom of the. Edge of the bag, all the way up and down. Make sure that that's straight. And then load the screw. And one, two, three, done. Let that. This is going a whole lot easier than I thought it would. Yep. The cool thing about these hangers, they're called ultra thins and they're flocked so the clothes don't fall off the hanger. Where'd you get those? Amazon? Oh, no. They're everywhere right now. Oh, okay. I mean, literally everywhere. I should be able to hang five or six dresses in here. Because the hangers are so flat. That's right. And that's per bag. So that's a week worth of dresses. Yeah. And you can hang more than one thing on a hanger. I mean, if, if you're wearing slacks, shirt and a dress you can put all three on one hanger there you go so there you go that works yay thumbs up one more project done thank you dear you're very welcome my love stop the video well, we got to say our sign off which is thanks for watching thanks for watching the bt no i just said the bt um thanks for watching the bee life that's it thank you <laughs> enjoy the journey absolutely Journey in a van, isn't that what we put as a thing?